And we have a GMA investigation into surprise medical bills. A recent poll by Kaiser Health reports that 40% of insured consumers got a surprise bill just in the last year, and now Congress is working to curb these unexpected charges. Kara Phillips, here with the story. Hey, Kara. Good morning. You know, this really hits home for me, George, because my son had a freak accident. He almost lost his hand, and I rushed him to the hospital. And when we got to the emergency room, he saw three doctors, and it never entered my mind to even ask if they were in network. So we are talking about unexpected charges that most most of us assume if we have health insurance would be covered. Not always the case. So we spoke with the experts to find out what you can do about surprise medical bills. $17,000 for a lab test, $50,000 for a stay in the NICU, $70,000 for surgery for a broken hip. Just a small sample of surprise medical bills patients say they never saw coming. It's causing incredible distress and financial harm to hundreds of thousands of Americans. Tom Saputo, once an active snowboarder, says his family was devastated when he was diagnosed with pulmonary fibrosis. He needed a double lung transplant to survive. It's like drowning. You just, you can't breathe. Throughout Tom's care, the Saputos say they made sure that everything was in network. Yeah, there was always a double check before we had a procedure done. But while bedridden at a local hospital in California, Tom needed an air ambulance to a medical facility where he could receive the transplant. The Saputos did it, no questions asked. How could you even have the... Wherewithal. Yeah, to concentrate on something like that when your husband's dying. Tom received that transplant, but then came the bill that blindsided them. The transplant, $36,000, was fully covered by their insurance, but the air ambulance that cost $51,000 was not. And so we were shocked. GMA became aware of the Saputo's case through Kaiser Health News and NPR's series, which investigates medical bills. Air ambulances are the single most common complaint in our database. The Saputo's insurance covered most of the air ambulance bill, even though it was out of network. But they say they were told they still owed $11,000. How are we going to pay this bill? The Saputo's insurer, Anthem, told GMA the costs for his transport were paid in accordance with his benefits plan. After GMA investigates contacted the air ambulance company. Your account is actually at a zero balance now. The Saputo's debt now erased. Air Methods telling GMA after that call, we engaged in the appeals process to receive the full payment. Because Mr. Saputo was extremely cooperative, we were able to provide him a zero balance. Nearly 80% of Americans want legislation to protect patients from surprise medical bills. The president also calling for regulation. They should be given a clear and honest bill up front. Representatives Frank Pallone Jr. and Greg Walden are co-sponsors of one of the bipartisan bills before Congress that would regulate the practice. Why hasn't a bill been passed? Well, we are moving. I mean, the process takes a while. So. Ads criticizing some of the legislation began running over the summer. They're not influencing you. We are going full force ahead. More than half of all air ambulance rides are out of network. So we asked specifically about the Saputo's case. Why doesn't your legislation cover this? When you deal with ambulance, it, it involves so many different factors. The ambulance might be uh, private, it might be the local government. So it's very difficult. But and clearly it's not working. That's true, but it is a different animal. So we're taking out what we can here. Thank you, Kara. We'll be right back.